on the campus current. He got the job on the school newspaper? Cool! Principal Gefilte says he thinks I have a nose for news. That's great! Uh, since you're in such a good mood, why don't you help me study for this math? Hold it! Seaweed masks? Sand scrubs? Nothing helps! My scales keep getting scalier and my breakouts are getting lumpier. I mean, the more I stare at these numbers, the less sense they make. Gotta swim, Rainbow. Stories are breaking all over the ocean. Hmm. Students who don't like seeing trash in the water we breathe might be angered by the littering habits of Chomper and Stingo. <laughs> Busted. I hear that because of Sea Philly's article, Chomper and Stingo have to clean up the whole schoolyard. Way to go, fish. You really nailed those. Can't talk. I've got a meeting with Principal Gefilta about some hot new stories I'm working on. See, <laughs> Philly sure has a knack for this newspaper reporting. I can't wait to see what she comes up with next. I heard her next story is on campus creeps. Yeah, and your face is the headline. What do you think of that? I'll tell you what I think. I think... You missed a spot. <laughs> ah! I'm going! <laughs> By first period, the whole school will know I've broken out. Is it something in the water? An expose of oily complexions by Sea Philly. Ruby Fish is one of many teenagers experiencing flaky scales oily fins, and unsightly skin eruptions. That's enough, Rainbow. <laughs> My life is over! Oh, no, it's not, honey. You're a beautiful young fish. Sea Philly shouldn't be printing such hurtful gossip. This is all your fault! What did I do? Well, you... She's your friend! Relax, Ruby. It could have been a lot worse. At least she didn't get a picture of that giant zit behind your gill. Oh, that's it! I'm not leaving my room until my skin clears up! Okay, see you in about ten years. Rainbow, it's not nice to tease your sister like that. She's very sensitive about her skin problems. Hey, I've got problems too. Like the math test I've got today which I'm probably going to fail. At least you aren't being floated off to Reefside Summer Camp if your grades don't improve. So, guys, ready for the big math test? Not really. Nope, I see. Well, good luck. You know, a lot of fish are getting worried about Sea Philly snooping around. Maybe we should be more careful about what we say around her. What are you talking about? See, Philly's our friend. She'd never write bad stuff about us. I hope not. I ordered a sea nut butter and jellyfish sandwich, not grilled algae. Hi, guys. Glad I caught you. How about a quick follow-up? To what? To our earlier interview about the test. What do you mean, interview? We were just talking. That's what an interview is. I ask questions, you talk. But it was a private conversation. It was supposed to be off the record. Look, a story's a story, and my latest one is on math tests. I understand if you did badly and don't want to talk about it. No, no, we did great. In fact, we came here to, uh, celebrate. Uh, right. Celebrate. With kelp gushers. Which we'd be drinking if Wanda wasn't out of kelp. See if I ever set claw in this place again. Huh. We'll finish this later, guys. I smell another big story. See you guys later. I'm running late.
With his failing grades and little hope of making it to the fourth grade, Blue's parents knew summer math camp was their son's last chance. Sea Philly made me sound like a total guppy brain. Boy, Sea Philly has really turned into a major gossip. Yeah, well, thanks to her, I'll be wearing this disguise through graduation. Which I won't be attending, according to her. Don't worry, I'll have a talk with her. Maybe I can get her to print a retraction. I'd rather you get her to take back what she wrote. Uh, Blue, that's what her retraction is. See, Billy! You've got to stop printing all this sleazy stuff. Blue's never talking to you again, and Ruby says you're not allowed in our house. Really? Can I quote you on that? No, you can't. Hey, Rainbow Creep, you checked out the late morning edition? <laughs> it's a real page turner. <laughs> An F on his latest math test didn't seem to upset Rainbow, who was seen celebrating at Wanda's cafe. I can't believe you would write this. I thought you were my friend. I'm a reporter, Rainbow. It's my duty to report the facts. You're not even getting the facts right. I got a C minus, not an F. So there are a few exaggerations. The story's basically right, and that's what counts. Sea Philly's gone way too far. You can say that again. Customers Rainbow and Blue left Wanda's cafe in disgust, unable to even get a drink, while a gourmet crab described his meal as unseaworthy. She's out of control. Totally. Too bad Principal Gafilta doesn't think so. Yeah, he thinks she's doing such a great job. That's because she's never printed one of her zingers about him. Yeah, but what if she did? Newsroom. Uh, I mean, see Philly. How'd you like a scoop on Principal Gafilta? I'm listening. Not on the phone. Meet me at the corner of Snorkel and Sail. Wait! Who are you? Just call me Deep Clam. Who? Deep Clam? But I don't know any... Over here. Deep Clam? Is that you? Kicked out of three schools before he turned ten. Who? Principal Gafilta? That's right. Couldn't keep his fins out of trouble. Always playing in the danger pool, fighting with orange ruffians, making waves in the halls. Gafilta was that bad? It gets worse. Wait till you hear about his high school years. <laughs> and spent the entire 11th grade in detention. Wow, what a guy. Yeah, I always knew Gefilter was all right. Miss Philly, in my office. Oh. Now. This article is nothing but a pack of lies. I suppose your next story will have me marrying Mrs. Chips. I was just trying to do my job. Somebody told me those things were true. Somebody told you? You can't print rumors. Facts have to be researched. Sources must be checked. The press is powerful. Downright dangerous in the wrong fins. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. It won't happen again. It certainly won't. You're suspended from the paper for the rest of the semester. The whole semester? I guess I deserve it. But could you maybe let me write just one last article? And I only hope my friends will forgive me for dragging their names through the mud with my gossipy articles. In closing, I am wholeheartedly sorry for the embarrassment and anger I have caused. Hi. Can you guys ever forgive me? Yeah, I guess. But it'll take a couple of days. <sighs> so you got canned, huh? I guess Gefilta didn't like your latest story. Apparently, my source was lying. You must be super mad at Deep Clam. Not really. He forced me to see how carried away I'd gotten. I'm grateful to him. For... Hey!
How did you know my source's name was Deep Clam? Meet me at the corner of Snorkel and Sail, and I'll tell you. <laughs> Rainbow, how dare you do that to me? Come back here. Oh, wait like I break bins on you. <laughs>